Hey Gip, can you come in here a second? What the fuck? All right, so the S10 gas mask. Now these things have been produced since the mid 80s. This one in particular was made in 1987. So these things have been around the block. And if you're gonna be wearing one in 2020, you're gonna wanna clean it. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to take this apart and how to sanitize all the components so it's safe to use in the modern day. Let's get to it. All right, so as you can see, we got our S10 right here. We're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need a flat tip screwdriver, kind of wide one. You're gonna need uh, some cotton balls, some Q-tips, and a paper towel. And then lastly, you're gonna need some uh, isopropyl alcohol. All right, so first things first, we got these clips here. We gotta undo these to remove this back harness. All right, so now that we got the harness off, we need to pull this flap over here, pull it open, and then if you see underneath here, there is this little C-clamp here. So now this rubber bit here in front is called the primary speech module. So to remove that first off, we're going to remove this little C-clamp here. Get that off, we can set that off to the side. And so then this can just come out of that little rubber rivet that's sticking up there. So then over here, we've got this. This is the drinking hose. So that just pulls out. So just hold it on this base here and then you can just lift that out really easily. And so now we have this plastic ring here, you can see. So to remove that, we need to get the flat tip screwdriver and we just wedge that in there a little bit. And be very careful, you don't mess with the rubber of the primary speech module, but uh, much like you're removing the lens for the ring, it just pops out. And so then you can remove it like that. So with those two things removed, well three things, you can now remove the primary speech module. So we can get in there and clean all this out and clean this out because uh, this is probably the dirtiest part out of your gas mask. All right, so now that we got these two things removed here, we're gonna need to focus on the valves on the side. So you can see here, we've got this valve and it's got this little uh, part of the rubber that is flanged out of it. So you have to squeeze that together and then we can pull it out. If you grab the other side here, we can see there's this uh, diaphragm. So if we grab that diaphragm with our fingers, we can see on the other side here, you can see my fingers there. So we just pull lightly on that, pull on this diaphragm as we squeeze that little tip and it'll pull that right out. So now here's the diaphragm that was controlling that. Uh, some models do take dual filters, so you would just do the same thing, but since this is just blocked off, we don't need to do anything for this side. All right, so now we're gonna wanna remove this exhaust valve. So the air comes in on the side here. Uh, that was what we removed previously for this air inlet. So now we wanna remove the exhaust port. So what we do that is we first uh, take this part here that holds the drinking hose. Let's undo that. Make sure that this lever here to turn the drinking hose on or off, that's set in the off position. And then we gotta get a quarter or some kind of coin. Uh, and then we want to wedge it in between this exhaust outer valve and the side of the gas mask itself. You should see there's two separate lips there. So you can get a quarter wedged in between those and you can pop off this outer ring with that, like that. So you can see now we have this outer ring removed. And so if we look, there's another one of these little rubber flanges in there. Uh, if you ever have a mask that sticks when you try to inhale, you have to give it a, a deep inhale and it's sticking, it's usually this outlet valve that's stuck and needs cleaning. So same with the other one, we've got a, um, a little rubber nub on the end there that we're gonna have to squeeze in. And with this outer flange, we're going to want to grab that with our fingers. This one's a little stuck. <laughs> and we're gonna wanna pull that out as well to help clean it. Also, I guess let's remove the, the drinking hose. I would not recommend using the drinking hose, even though we can clean it. Um, just 
It's a 30 year old rubber drinking hose. I wouldn't trust water passing through it. All right, let's get to cleaning these parts now. All right, so if your mask has a lot of talcum powder, dust, dirt, anything like that, it's good to give it a like a full wash just with some dish soap and water that'll help clean off any of that debris. And then afterwards, we're gonna move on to the isopropyl alcohol. Now, one of the things that's very important about this is these uh, eyepieces are made of acrylic and you do not want the isopropyl alcohol to come in contact with these because this can fog up your lenses. You don't only want to use soap and water when cleaning those. First off we can take care of these little rubber flaps here getting these all cleaned up. This one is for the air intake. That one was relatively clean. This air outtake though one if you look and see this one it has uh, it's, it's pretty crusty on there so we, we don't want to be breathing that one in so making sure that that gets a good cleaning all that gunk and crap gets taken off that and you can see look just from cleaning those two look at how much dirt is on my cotton ball like that was just from cleaning those two inlets so I'll be excited to see what I pick up from the rest of this mask and then, like I said doing everything to avoid the lenses you just take your cotton ball with your isopropyl alcohol and give it a good wipe down on the inside. All the little crevices, especially by the nose and especially under the flaps here. Uh, a lot of dirt likes to build up around those areas. So just make sure you're giving it a good solid cleaning. Alright, so here's everything we got all cleaned up and good to go. The last thing that we have is this, the drinking hose. This is the part of the hose that's on the outside, this is the part of the hose that's on the inside of the mask. I'm just going to squirt some isopropyl alcohol through it, kill any bacteria or germs that's inside, but even still, like I said, I really don't recommend using this. <laughs> So now with all of our pieces cleaned, we just need to reassemble the mask. So first, let's start with the two diaphragms. So I'm gonna start with the bigger one, which goes on the side here. That goes on the inside. And I push that right through the hole on the side there. Pull that through. There we go, that's on. This one goes on the inside here, through the hole again. So we can look at that and see Pull it through, done. Now we can get the drinking hose, attach that to the front here. There we go. Get the cap on the end. So now we gotta get this outer piece on. Make sure that this dent over here on the inside is by where the valve is for the drinking tube. Uh, this bottom lip should be matching up with where the tube locks into place. So if we match that up right there, put it on there. Now, it's best when snapping this on to start at a side and to move your thumbs around to the other side so it gets evenly snapped into place. So like that, now it's snapped in, should be good to go. You can see there's no tension on the drinking straw there. So we can move that around, lock that into place. On the side here, we can take this little ring, fit that back into place there as well. So now with this front part taken care of, we want to get the primary speech module and get that in place. So remember, we have to take into account this little rubber stop here where the C-clamp goes and the hole where the drinking straw comes out of. So let's slide that into place. 
getting it first lined up with this hole here for the C clamp. And then also getting it lined up for the drinking straw. So now with that, uh, you can see that this ring here, um, that's where the plastic ring goes. So it has a little divot on the side. Make sure that you um, put that divot where the hose for the drinking straw comes out. So we simply line that in place up on there. And then like we were attaching for the front part, you simply start on one side, push down hard, move your thumbs over, and it snaps into place. So now that's good. We have our primary speech module snapped into place there. And then we can take our hose and we can thread it into the little port that they give us there for that. So now our drinking straw is in place. And then finally we just have to reattach the harness, which thankfully they are nice enough to tell you where the top end of that is. So this is how you completely clean an S10 gas mask. Just removing any dust, dirt, or even mold. So you can wear this feeling safe. Anyway guys, that is the video. Uh, feel free to check out some of my other stuff, uh, but that's all I got for the moment. So I'll see y'all in the next video.